we have uh, we have uh, some matrix and it's asking to uh, draw the planes in the row picture uh, and we have to draw the vectors in the column picture right that's the question one and two one that correct so technically we have to sketch planes because each one of these equations represents a plane uh, in 3d because we have you know a plane with coordinates x y z mm -hmm. so uh, of course the first equation would give us uh, x equal 2 the second equation would give us y equal 3 it's already there 2 3 4 so y equal 3 and uh, the last one is z equals 4 and if we graph this in 3d Uh, the first one representing x equal 2 is a vertical plane at x equal 2 which is this should be parallel to the zy plane so this is x equal 2 uh, the second one y equal 3 would go 3 in the y direction and this is again a vertical plane parallel to the zx plane somewhere here and the last one is uh, z equal 4 let's do this in gold so this blue one here is y equal 2 y equal 3 so this is 3 this this point here is 2 and uh, the last one in gold is z equals 4 so we go up to 4 1 2 3 4 and this is going to be a horizontal plane parallel to the xy plane so this is z equal 4 and this point here is 4 so we so if we want to make this a little bit more concrete uh, these do intersect they all intersect at the point two, three, four, because uh, that that's where uh, where these planes intersect. That's what it says. Uh, the three sides of the box uh, meet at two, three, four, two, three, four. So uh, they will all meet here somewhere. This is two, three, four, for instance. So if I were to do this a little bit more clearly, uh, I would get a box uh, and this here is 4. There we go. So this would be this side here would be y equal three. This is going at three. Uh, this side is at two. X equal two. This is the x y z. Mm -hmm. This is the z equal four, and this is where they meet. This is point two three four. Okay, and now we have to sketch uh, the vectors in the column picture. Uh, okay, so let's do that. So now, um, X, Y, Z. 
uh, vector the first vector uh, the first column vector is one zero zero so now we're taking the column vectors one zero zero uh, so uh, assuming that this is the uh, x axis y axis z axis so uh, uh, one zero zero would be one in the x so this is vector one zero zero and then we have zero one zero that's a vector those are basically the unit vectors i j k so the second vector is in the y one so this is zero one zero and the third one is zero zero one so zero zero one would be up here zero zero one And uh, so uh, two times column one, two times column one, that would be zero zero two. Uh, sorry, uh, two zero zero uh, plus three times column two, that would be zero three zero. Uh, here, let's uh, just do it here. So. Uh, Two times column one plus three times column two plus four times column three. So, of course, we get uh, two zero zero plus zero three zero plus zero zero four, and if I add those, I will get two three four which is vector B so two three four so uh, vector B will be somewhere here two three four that does it